Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. This is JT O'Sullivan. Today, Feel Good Friday. Feel Good Friday because in the league, Friday practices, you're supposed to make the defense feel good, make the offense feel good, make one-handed catches like this all the time when it doesn't matter on Fridays. But right here, this is a Feel Good Friday catch. Mo Ali cox making his first touchdown reception of the year of his career, really, in the black hole. Love it. We're going to break it down, talk about both sides of the ball, scheme it up, see exactly how this got open. But I love this because this is really when the Colts started coming into their own. Yeah, sure, it was against the Raiders, but it's on the road in the NFL. You got to come out, pass, protect, break it down, go up, make an unbelievable play. I'm excited. I think this got an opportunity for us to learn. Red zone, windows get tight. We'll break it down, see exactly how they do it. Welcome to the QB School. All right, here we go. It's a little inside zone play action. Two by two here to 12 personnel. And really, the corner to Cox is more of a, Ali Cox is more of a clear out normally. But right here, they end up just blowing the coverage here. It's just straight up man coverage, middle of the field closed. We'll slow it down one more time. But then you just see him go up and make a ridiculous catch. So let's talk a little bit about scheme-wise, exactly what they have going on. I love taking a shot in the high red zone. Don't freak out. I know it's not in the red zone exactly, but this is the high red zone. And so right here, what they got going on is essentially, here's Ali Cox. He's the one going to come up and run a corner. I don't think he actually bows that much. But this play is designed to really come underneath and get the rub underneath here. I think on the other side, they end up having a corner and a little indie route or a little in route here on the inside. And then the little play action fake here, be able to come out into the flat. So normally they're trying to get this ball to the middle of the field, basically with a little inverted clear. But verse man, which it is right here. Oops, don't want that. Verse man, which it is right here. Theoretically, this guy, we'll see it from the tight guy covering him. He's on the outside of this corner. He's right here, but you see him with bad technique running with his bottom to the sideline. You know that it's going to be tough to get that under with the middle field close player in man. Oftentimes, this is more of a quarters beater. What I mean by that is you'd come up, you put two pressure two on the inside and hope to get that guy underneath the middle field open. You don't really want to throw this versus when there's a middle field close defender right here. So he comes up. They do a great job being able to come up, see it. And then Andrew does just enough to give him a chance to make this catch. But this leverage right here should be able to take away this corner. And then if it's not there, you end up getting this little back checking through into the flat as your check down. Or if you come back to the other side of the field, you got this little indie coming across. So let's see it play it out one more time. See if we can break it down. I love the pass protection we'll talk about from the tight two. Play action, beautiful. You see the technique, and then he just turns him. Because he can't turn, he's not in a pedal, he's just shuffling with his bottom towards the sideline. And then that's just a ridiculous catch. So from the tight, we can really see the pass protection. I love this. Pass protection to me is all about creating double teams. You create double teams to create space for the quarterback. You see that double team with the center, left guard, just eject that guy out of the club. So again, ridiculous catch, no doubt about it. Breaking it down, you see the, watch that release on the tight end, on Ali Cox coming out. He's on that corner, he's on the release, he straightens him up. But that DB's in a backpedal with his bottom turn. He turns right there. He's got him. And then the pass pro, obviously, unbelievable pass pro right here. You love to see that type of stuff as a quarterback taking a shot down the field. What I mean by that is at the top of your drop right there. Look at that. All sorts of goodness right there from the quarterback perspective. You can come up. You got double team right here. Center, left guard, able to hitch, hitch, hitch. Let that thing go. Here's that technique I was talking about. Bottom turn to the sideline. Corner inside, he's able to get on this side of him. He's got him. Right here, you could have the under two, but you know that there's a middle field close player right here. Going to take that hit away. So, really good stuff. Love the design. Love the double team up front. Be able to create that pass pro. Right there, beautiful little soft little touch. Makes that catch probably harder than it has to be, no doubt about it. But still, beautiful catch. If Andrew had to do it over again, he'd probably put even more air on it. Let him run to the corner. But this is straight up feel good Friday catch. I love it. I love this play call by Frank Wright. Be able to protect it up a little bit. Take a shot. If it's not there, check it down. Right at the 25. Beautiful job. Really nice job. This one, the Colts really started rolling. This is a little preview into what they were able to do the rest of the year. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you haven't already and you really love the content, get over to the Patreon community. Just drop the entire full game Super Bowl today. So get over there. Check it out. I appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. See ya.